The very first straw bale that arrives on the scene gets securely plonked underneath the window frame. These have been specifically constructed to accommodate the standardized size of the bale and each window gets one, providing a starting point for the rest of the bales that we will lay around the periphery of the dome proper. A specially constructed tool called a straw bale needle is then used to drive a supporting piece of wire clean through the bale from the inside to the outside, where it is then looped to provide a holding point for the rebar that we are going to insert into it. The rebar is inserted, tightened up, attached to the dome, and this will supply a supporting belt for the bales. The bale adjacent to the window is placed vertically. This is due to the fact that it has to be trimmed to accommodate the window box that will be placed after. All electrical wiring has to be put in place beforehand and securely attached to the dome, as is the rebar that provides a supportive seat for the bale above the window. Ventilation pipes are put in place and facing north to catch the wind are then all mudded up to keep them secure. Notice the right hand side of the window where straw has been used to fill the gap. This prepares for the next phase but before that let's take a look at what it looks like to have a day's work under your belt. The next phase is begun as the first mud coat is drying and directly afterwards covered over with mud. This allows the two surfaces of mud to adhere much more easily and cure simultaneously. The bales that follow the contour of the dome's roof are supported with rocks and have been pre-prepared with mud to be able to make the work a lot easier when you're standing up there and it's really dangerous and you can fall down. In the meanwhile, details like the window frames have been done and as you'll notice there's an innovative use of recycled materials to do so. Phase number two is now complete, everything is mudded up and the dome is going along swimmingly. It's now time for us to attach the second mud coat. It's a lot smoother and as you can see it's getting closer to what we would like to see towards the end of the dome. While this is in progress, the roof still continues to be done. The pre-prepared bales are arriving and being placed by our expert monkey climber right on the roof there. And before that is all done, they're first wet. The entire surface is wet to help the mud to adhere to the bales. Straw is placed in the gaps and then very, very quickly placed over. The JCB is used to bring the bales up to the height to easily facilitate movement while we're working in such a dangerous place, much to the jubilation of our roof master. Here you can see the pre-prepared bales being put in place. After the straw is filled, it's then mudded over to give a supportive shell that will support the entire system. The last of the bales have been placed. The roof is very quickly reaching final completion and the last bale goes in as the whole crew celebrates and makes their way to lunch to eat more watermelon.